dance. I say all I need is one dance. When Lucy do the dance, she could do the fire dance. When my Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Silver Lines Beauty Playbook. Happy New Year to everyone. This is the first official video for Silver Lines Beauty Playbook in 2019. Yes, and if it looks like I have a lot of makeup on today, the truth is I do have a lot of makeup on today. Like I have a lot of makeup on. Mama had some time and mama said she was gonna do it. So I did. Let's let's get into it. That's exactly what's going on. I'm getting into it. I'm getting my life right now. <laughs> Before we get into the actual video, all right, I'm gonna talk about my look today. And I have a mixture of actually two colors from CoverGirl. So the first color that I have here from CoverGirl is 320 Back Talk Audience. And then the second color, which I have most of this color on, is 310 Coral Chronicles. Yeah, 310 Coral Chronicles. Yeah, it's a lot of English going on and I just can't. And then my eyes today, I buy Morph. I heard somebody on Instagram call it Morphe. It's possible that it's Morph, it's possible that it's Morphe, but I just got this palette over the Thanksgiving, Black Friday shopping holiday and absolutely love it. Look at all these colors. So the colors in my eyes today, this one here, one, two, three, four, actually these four purple colors right here. And then in the inner tear duct, I put this color in right there. It's like a greenish, goldish, yellowish. It has a whole bunch of tones in it. It's very, very pretty. This is the Boss Mode 3M palette by Morphe. It's gonna be one of my favorite palettes in 2019. Yeah, I'm ready. I like to do these first kind of introductory videos in order to kind of get you guys excited about the year with me, reintroduce myself because I realized in 2018, I gained quite a bit of subscribers. Like, I think I started out 18 with over 2,000 subscribers, just over, and then ended it with just over 4,000 subscribers. So I think this is probably like the most I have gotten in a year. I got some new folks in here. I got some I got some people behind me right now. Let's start off with the OGs. You guys have been here since day one. Okay. I know some of you guys could be family. Y'all didn't have no choice. Y'all had to subscribe. I know some of you guys could be, you know, friends that have met me. You had to subscribe. And then I know there are some people who have only met me on social media and you guys have been here since day one. Thank you to my OGs and thank you to all the new subscribers out there, especially in this year. You guys did that. I, I was shocked. I want to start something different. I want to know why you guys subscribed, okay? To all my subscribers out there, to all my beautiful friends, why did you subscribe? Just put it down in the comment section below. Let me know why. I just want to know. I feel like things like that allow me to get to know you guys a lot better. Like just understanding what you guys love to see from me, what you guys want to see from me, what you like about me, what you love about me. I mean, I mean what was that deciding factor when you decided to hit that subscribe button? Leave me a comment below. I can't wait to read them all. And you guys know I always respond. So, you guys, my name is Silverline and my channel is about hair care, beauty, especially relaxed hair care. All right. I also want to talk about some of the challenges that I experienced in 2018. I old phone. I actually have a new phone. So I'm recording with my Samsung Galaxy 9. I got a new phone this year. I checked out it last year. So my, my videos might look a little bit different. There was nothing wrong with my old phone. I loved it. I've been using that phone since the beginning parts of my YouTube journey. But my battery and my battery was shot. You know, it was a Galaxy S6. And you know, they don't make these phones to last that long anyway. So that phone did not last in terms of the battery power. So, and then I ran out of space on the phone and it just got complicated with trying to like transfer things. And it really slowed down my like recording process. I was like, you know what, let me just go ahead and get a new phone. And, and then the phone was acting up a little bit. Like some days it'll just shut off and yeah. I think the only other setbacks or challenges I had was staying motivated with YouTube. Um, I had a lot of issues in 2018 with my health. My health was one. I think after Alopecia finally said goodbye to me or I said goodbye to her, 
you know, some other things came up with my health that I had to focus on and that made it hard for me to stay focused on YouTube. I also had some issues with some friends. I had to let some people go, had some issues with family, had to let some people go, you know, like, it was really hard to stay motivated and stay like inspired on YouTube, especially with how much YouTube pays you. It ain't much y'all, like it ain't much. I might make a video in the future about what my YouTube paycheck is looking like. There were times in 2018 that I questioned if I was going to continue to do YouTube, but you know, I know that it's not always about the money. I started my hair journey a year before I started YouTube. And when I started seeing results, I was just like, I cannot believe this. I need to share this with everyone. And so I started YouTube and I also knew that I was going to get paid from YouTube, but I didn't think it was going to be like that dry. So that's like my number one tip to anybody who's trying to start YouTube. Like don't do it for the money. I'm sure you've heard that many times on different channels. Do not do it for the money. It's absolutely not worth it for the money. Do it for maybe the feelings you get. Like when people, hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on Facebook, hit me up on YouTube and, uh, you know, kind of either encouraging me when I was going through something or um, just letting me know that I've been such a blessing in their lives and their journeys and we're just kind of growing together. Those are some of the things that kind of keep me going. But I know there was a time in 2018, I was just like, ugh, why? <laughs> um, in 2019, what can you guys expect from me? More videos. I'm hoping to get out two videos a month to you guys. You guys know I already have a full-time job and I'm probably going to be working a lot this year because I have a lot of goals that I'm trying to reach in the year. So I will try my very best to get videos out to you guys. But I think what I, I think personally what I can do is two videos a month. Okay, so expect right about that. Um, another thing you guys can expect from me is different types of videos. I want to open up more on my channel. I feel like you guys know me. Um, but then, you know, with every year I'm getting new subscribers. So I want to be able to build, you know, a connection with you guys. So you guys get to know me a little bit more. I'm always kind of shocked and surprised when people so far ask me like, are you Nigerian? And I'm like, yeah, I think everybody knows that by now. I'm so Nigerian. Like, <laughs> but then I think to myself, I do have new subscribers. So I want to open up a little bit more. I want to share a little more personal stuff with you guys. So I think sometime in the year, you guys should expect, you know, one or two more story times. I will be doing, um, that video is already shot already, but I will be doing the part two to my coming to America video. I know it's late because the first one I shot probably like two years ago, didn't think that everybody was going to be excited about that video, but they were, they wanted part two. So I got part two. The video is shot already. It just needs to be edited. You guys will also expect lamp checks and hair updates. Um, one lamp check a year, except there's been a major change in my hairs history then i'll say hey look i we have to talk girl something happened so my next relaxer is going to be march and after which you guys should be getting a lens check video another thing you guys might not expect from my channel in 2018 and 2019 is uh, vlogging i hate vlogging i low-key have probably a little bit of add okay I might have it. I just might because I am easily distracted. Like I have to be focused on what I am shooting with vlogging. When things are going on around me, I can't really just focus on one thing with vlogging. Like, like if there's a party, I want to be dancing. I want to be eating. I want to be drinking. I want to be having a good time. But vlogging allows you to what makes you look at the world through a camera lens. And I don't like that you shoot all that stuff and now you have to take five hours of content and mush it down to like 20 minutes or less it's hard to do so you might not see as much vlogging i just came back from nigeria last month and i was like okay so you guys might not see that a lot for me in 2019 like no videos i did my very first reaction video last year to do the crystals and um i really enjoyed the video but don't expect me to just be like reaction video to every single thing that's going on it has to really touch me and i have to feel like i'm about to give you a teaching moment like i'm about to like show you something that you really didn't know or didn't see or didn't understand like 
that's the only reasons why I would do reaction videos because I do not want no problems. As soon as I did that reaction video, I got all kinds of reaction from the natural hair community, especially the natural hair Nazis who feel like they are the Jesus of hair. Girl, gone somewhere with that. Gone. Mm -mm. Wrong channel, wrong person. Wrong time, wrong day. But if I feel like really passionate about it, I will be giving you guys more reaction videos. Of course, last year I was able to give you guys a lot more makeup tutorials. I, yeah, I think my makeup is getting better. Like, I think I've, I'm graduating somewhere. Like, something's going on and I'm feeling it. <laughs> so I might give you guys some more makeup uh, tutorial videos. And of course, I do have some um, video requests that were given last year and, and the year before that. Especially when I got alopecia, a lot of the video requests I put a halt to because I had to focus on the health of my hair. But now that I'm getting back on my feet and I'm feeling more comfortable, I will be getting back to some hair tutorials, okay? So please hold on, please wait. And if you do have any video requests in 2019, please let me know. But again, I just wanna share with you guys, I wanna grow with you guys in 2019. I'm excited for the year. I'm hopeful about this year. I don't know if I was as hopeful about last year, but this year feels, it feels good. It feels like something great is going to happen and I can't wait to share all of that with you guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for all the support and love. Thank you for all the, the tips, the advice, the concerns just growing with me feeling me and understanding me and and loving me because you guys have really like showed me so much love I'm so grateful for my YouTube family I'm grateful for my journey I'm grateful to be here and I hope that I never disappoint you guys Mwah.